Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. So, last time we got to explore most of the World's Fair. We were able to see some commercials for lard on a stick, always fun. And we also learned that in order to get into the side of the dog bot, we need to make our breath smell like pickle pot pie. I really hope that's not a thing, that sounds really gross. Then again, I also just don't like pickles. Pickles are cucumbers that have been ruined true story. So that's something we gotta find out. Anyhow, well, we, our main goal for this episode is we're gonna explore the southern side of the fair, because we only got the tiniest little glimpse of it. And there's actually quite a bit here. So we got Kazooie's friend over there. Man, there's very few people in this world's fair. Lo the Low Roach is looking for a million people to enter. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be waiting a long time, Low Roach. Just saying. Let's go to the ice rink, shall we? Yo, what up, dog? You seem a little bitter. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly lux? No, I don't. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, at least he's honest, though. That's the 1996 Big Pig Biathlon Cup, given to the couple who can play go fish while ice dancing. It seems Mr. Big Pig has won every year since it began. I had no idea he was so graceful. <laughs> I love that. Mr. Big Pig from the first game has his own award. It's fantastic. The callbacks just keep on coming. One of the reasons I really like Spy Fox as a series, they do plenty of callbacks, which is great. Oh, it's another spy up there. <laughs> Pigs just walks up like, hey, can I have roses? Yeah, whatever. That must be the coveted chilling statue of immobilization. It's given to the person who can stand on ice skates in the rink without moving for the longest time. That would be really difficult. It's the 1981 Silver Cup for the best triple mid-air coffee pour going to the masked she-bear. It's the 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy for best sneeze during a performance. <laughs> Man, these are great, aren't they? I need ice skates. I don't want my tootsies to get cold. Aw, oh, man. Who are some of the skaters that you've trained? That skater who fell during the 1965 Autumn Games. Remember her? Very well. Well, I didn't train her. <laughs> uh, man, you're so modest. I love it. What's the best part of working here? Locking up. How many of us can relate to that? That's kind of sad when you think about it. You go to work every day, and you really, you'd rather not. But it, it's honestly, even if you like, kind of like your job, it's still, it's work, you know? And the fact that you have to do it kind of hurts. Also, whether this is just a glass ceiling or if there's no ceiling at all, it looks cool regardless. Those are nice roses. Yes, they are. My job is to toss one to each skater who performs a perfect triple greasy axle. Oh. I can gather information about the triple greasy axle ice skating move with this top balloon. Cool. Who are some of the skaters that you've trained? That skater who fell during... Alright, so nothing more from him. Alright, let's ask him. Why is it so difficult to bring up the bottom menu? That pig is just taking all the roses. We gotta, we gotta figure this out fast. What do you know about La Roche? Hey, he's kind of what you call a Renaissance bug. He's in all kinds of things, especially plants. He likes to hang out at Plant World. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. What do you know about pickle pot pie? I know that you have a lot of time on your hands. Actually, it's on my wrist. Try the restaurant, Chateau Le Roche, then try the emergency room. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> he don't pull no punches, does he? This guy's great. All right, tell me about yourself. Hey, now I gotta give this pig like a 20th rose. Can you tell me how to do a triple greasy axle? Sorry, kid. I don't have a clue. But I hear that there's an ex-ice skater working somewhere at the fair. Thank you. Cool. Well, let's find that person. Ooh, this looks fun. Let's go in here. 
Oh, it's it's a wax museum. Hey, how about that? Do you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that. This is my profession you're talking about. What do you like to do in your spare time? Likes? Watching the hardening of gelatin. Dislikes? When the temperature goes over 80 degrees. Wouldn't you like to take a walk to stretch your legs? Yeah, but I have to stay here to keep an eye on the thermometer. If it goes over 80 degrees, I have to go phone the air conditioning repair guy. 80 degrees, hmm? What do you like to do in your spare time? Likes? Watching the hardening of gelatin. Dislikes? All right, fair enough. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. <laughs> this guy sounds very familiar. I swear I've heard this guy in something else before. I can't put my finger on what it is, and it's bugging it me. It says security. Also, this guy is a pretty nice security guard. He's got that. So your voice. whole job is to watch this thermometer. Yes, and while I'm here, no one can get in until the exhibit is officially open. See, if the thermometer goes above 80 degrees, I have to run and call the air conditioning repair place. I'd be gone for hours, and anybody and their mother could get in. Hmm, maybe I should call my mother. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spy Fox. Okay, I, um, the World's Fair is opening, like, today, and... Unless I'm mistaken, the World's Fair isn't that long of an event, like maybe a week. We kind of got to get this open like now, dude, seriously. So if this thermometer goes over 80 degrees, you have to leave to call the air conditioning repair place? Yeah, that's right. They put me on hold for hours listening to elevator music. That's terrible. Yeah. Hey, you! You cannot go in. The Wax Museum is not open yet. Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. <laughs> I would not watch Spy Fox's TV show, Entering the Wax Museum. Sorry, but that that's not one of those Netflix shows that really strikes my fancy. Hey, dude, tell me, what do you know about LaRoche? What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He loves the plant world. The temperature is always warm there. Yes, some like it hot. Wow. What do you know about pickle pot pie? I tried it once. I got it at the restaurant Chateau La Roche. It was very tasty. Really? I feel like that it would be disgusting. Pickles are gross. I do not like pickles. Pickles in a pie? Mm. What do you know about the skating move known as the Triple Greasy Axle? I don't know anything about that. I hear the ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear, is working at the fair, though. She would know. Thanks. Interesting. Hey, you! You cannot go in! That would be very, very bad. Why would that be so bad? My boss would yell at me, and he spits when he yells. Yes, that would be bad. It would also be bad if I can't see the thermometer. Please don't stand in front of it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's always sucks when your boss yells at you, true. All right, so... Here's where I keep my spy gadget. I hate to do this to you, bud, but... We gotta get in there. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. <laughs> Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh, no! I must call the air conditioning repair place. Oh, dear. I'll be on hold for hours. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Man, it just jolted it up from 70 degrees to 150. Over 150. Holy cow, that's a really dangerous spy gadget. If you sprayed it on someone, that could, like, kill them. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe not. I, I don't know if it just makes the surface temperature 150, which would still hurt a lot. Or if it, like, turns your internal... If it turned your internal temperature to 150, you would be dead for sure. Wow. Okay. 
Good Fane Spy Fox uses it responsibly. I probably would not. <laughs> All right, and we got the wax figures. Cool, cool. Ah, St. Joan of Fark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. Uh, yeah, that definitely happened. That's the real story, right? <laughs> Wait, whoa. Okay, not clicking on that again. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubble gum. Gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. George Washington Cougar, an inventor who found 101 uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. <laughs> How did he get his own wax statue? He didn't do anything. I could do that. Do I get a wax statue? Bella a buck, who worked hard for roaches' rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Uh -huh. Bert Barracuda. A successful songwriter who wrote such pop standards as Do You Know the Way to Swim Upstream? And my personal favorite, What's It All About Algae? Oh. <laughs> that one was really bad. Wow. Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. Good thing the chef outfit isn't made of wax like everything else. That really comes in handy. Aw, oh, poor Wolfgang Duck, just in his underwear now. Also, I have been... Okay, so, backstory time. Nobody's gonna believe me when I say this, but I'll just say it. So, Disney Springs used to be downtown Disney at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Uh, they used to have a Wolfgang Puck restaurant, and I think they might have a new one, but they used to have an old one that's kind of, was kind of, it was on the uh, west side near Bongo's Cuban Cafe. My family and I have been, went there a few times. It was a good place. It had some great food. No one's gonna believe me when I say this. It had the best water I have ever had in my life. I know, it sounds really weird, but like, I'm telling you, this water was like so much better than any other water in the entire world. I don't know what they did to it. Maybe partially it's just because I was dehydrated, but holy cow, never had tastier water. I went there a couple times, it always had the best water. So yeah, if you want tasty water, go to Wolfgang Puck's restaurants, because he is personally in the back, mixing, mixing hydrogen and oxygen molecules together like, mwah, delicious. That might not actually be the case, but it sure feels like it. It says We World. Uh, hey, that's where um, Dotty Dash is that we need to get to. Is that... <laughs> no, that's not the Milky Weapon of Destruction. No, that's just a spaceship. <laughs> hey, dude. You must be the guard who defends this place. That's classified information, laddie. How did you find that out? You're dressed as a guard and you're defensive. <laughs> I mean, it's true. What's the worst part of this job? The uniforms make me look like a security guard. But you are a security guard. Oh, yeah. What's the best part of this job? I don't know. I never give it much thought. Thinking hurts the brain, laddie. I think I understand. <laughs> okay, then. I can't get in. The door is locked. Well, we got keys. Unless you're playing piano. Hands off those keys. Those oh. keys are to all the exhibits at the fair, and they're my responsibility. Well, actually, I do play piano. Just keep your hands off those keys. Fair enough. You knew it wasn't going to be that easy. It says five. Five, huh? Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. All of them? Oh, can that get me into the dog bot? Yeah. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Of course, I wouldn't think of touching those. You're also dressed like a spy, laddie. 
Are you aware of this? Everybody can tell you're a spy. Shoot, my cover is blown. <laughs> hey, dude, tell me about LaRoche. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? Strange little fella. He loves that plant world. Didn't want to wait for me to let him in here. Imagine that. I'd rather not, laddie. I don't have much of an imagination. Uh -huh. What do you know about pickle pot pie? Soon's a little too fancy to me. Try the Chateau La Roche. They might have it. Thank you. Man, everyone's very helpful. Is it, if you were playing on a Carmen San Diego, it would be like, oh, pickled pot pie can be found in the country where people <laughs> were like, this king went to visit to give cocoa beans to the queen there in 1850. What do you know about the ice skating move known as the triple greasy axle? Skating? I've got no time to ice skate, laddie. I've been keeping we world safe from harm. I hear there's an ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear working at the fair. Maybe you can talk to her. Thank you. Alright, so we gotta get one of those keys, but he's not letting us do it. Luckily, we've got Here's a where I keep my for just this kind of situation. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. So there's six different keys. You want the key the whose number matches the top of the Wii World exhibit, which in our case is five. Key five. And now it gets updated. We got the photo on it, so we got to do something with that in a bit. Anyhow, I like the south side of the World's Fair. I think it's a bit more impressive than the north side. Well, the north side had the cloning booth, which is pretty cool. And I guess Plant World's in the middle, so, alright. This fair was kind of disappointing. Let's leave. Oh, hey, Cape Cod. Fresh stunts. You clone it. Oh, hey, dude. Enjoy the fair. Food on sticks. Pizza don't need to be on no stick. It's portable. Did you know that Renovus is souvenirs spelled backwards? Well, that's about as valuable as a moldy 1974 cottage cheese souvenir. Wow, do you really think so? Did you know that you could rearrange the letters in souvenir and make the word sour vine? No, I never thought of that. <laughs> this poor guy has nothing to do. Is it true that the word souvenir is from the French, meaning the act of remembering? Well, I don't really, eh... Uh... Well, I'm not sure I seem to have forgotten. Wow, that's my favorite callback to the first game, because <laughs> that was what Gilbert told us at the souvenir stand, where he's like, <laughs> like souvenir is a word, French word meaning to remember. <laughs> Trinket is a Middle Eastern word meaning small shoemaker's knife. I hope Here's that where... clears it up for you, sir. Do you happen to know anything about La Roche? I know he enjoys a good botanical exhibit now and then. I know I do. All those lovely plants and the beautiful smell. That plant world exhibit is prettier than a red wagon going up a hill. I'll keep that in mind. Do you know where I can get pickle pot pie? You might try the Chateau La Roche. They make all sorts of traditional dishes there. Oh, and what country is pickle pot pie traditional? Sounds terrible. What can you tell me about triple greasy axles? I believe there's an ex ice skater once known as the masked she bear working at the fair that may know something about that. Well, speaking of which, there's a bear back here. Yeah, yeah, you know who this is. Would you say you specialize in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Oh, man, the hurts? Why do they call it that? Because of this. Oh, man, that hurts. Poor Spy Fox. Oh, yeah. Your tension is just dissolving away. <laughs> yeah, now that it's over, it is. It's like those it's like those places where like you go to the spa or like the massage places and they like just cut into you really deep and like it hurts and then it's like, but yeah, but when it's done it feels great. It's like 
Yeah, you're torturing yourself, though. So uh, I don't see the appeal of that. Yeah. Hi. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days as the masked Chiver. I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. Well, well. Bee Bear's here again, everybody. And she's a massage therapist. And she's an ice skating pro. <laughs> How great is that? What can you tell me about Napoleon the Roach? He gets his shell popped here often. Uh -huh. After he gets popped, you can usually find him tending to plants. Plants, huh? Thanks for the tip. It's, it's like they don't even realize that, like, that the plant exhibit is the first person to than go air. I mean, like, it's right there when you escape from the dog bot. Do you know where I can get some pickle pot pie? Have you walked over to the restaurant? At this rate, I'll be crawling over to the restaurant. Ouch! <laughs> After that, you should feel like a whole new person. Here's where my notes go. Should have saved the spy heat for her. What do you know about the triple greasy axle ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the triple greasy axle as the masked she-bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Well, that'll come in handy. Thank, thanks, thank goodness she just happened to have that on hand. This is all just working out too perfectly, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back to the ice rink now. We should be able to cut up the rink because we got our own personal pile of uh, ice skates. Actually, we could probably do it all on our own, let's be honest. Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me. Oh, that's right. They were. <laughs> Let's show them how it's done, Spy Fox. <laughs> that didn't go so well. There's no way he would get <laughs> the lead role in Fret Level Midnight. Not with those ice skating <laughs> like moves. Well, fortunately, we got. Uh, oh, okay. Let's use. This it. should do the trick. It was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck! Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Ooh la la. <laughs> That's a cool scene. I really like the ice skating scene. Very nice. And thank goodness Professor Quack decided to make the ice skates. Hopefully he won't mind that we uh, burned him up. That might be a bit of a problem because he's like, I really like ice skating, Spy Fox. Hopefully I can use them after the mission's over. Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Well, he seems nice. Maybe he should be allowed to have, like, his Game Boy back there. Because he seems really bored just think, imagining the different ways he can arrange the words in uh, souvenirs. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. It's him, Walter Wireless. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking bug. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. 
Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heh, <laughs> that's my line. Yeah! Remember that call we got like two episodes ago? Yeah. Well, now we got Walter with us, which is awesome. And that's going to do it for this episode of Spy Fox, some assembly required. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. Hopefully it'll be a, be a bit more exciting. I know it was basically just to walk around and talk to people. Next time, we should hopefully be able to get some stuff done. We might be able to infiltrate Wii World. We might be able to actually get inside the dog bot. Should be pretty exciting, and we'll, we'll actually get the plot kicking off a bit more. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.